held a rally at USC, a Black Lives Matter rally, right? Mm -hmm. What made you hold that rally? Because I wanted to um, uplift people in my community and give other people a chance to voice their um, opinions and be heard. And that's why you decided to do it? Mm -hmm. And how did that work out for you? So I organized the rally and organized speeches, and I was able to get um, other black USC students to speak. And they spoke so like profoundly and emotionally that the president of USC was able to hear them and make changes. They made changes to the, um, the police department at USC. They took down the names of certain buildings that were named after eugenics leaders. And that's because we used our voices and were heard. And it's because we created that space for us to be heard. And how is that helping the blacks? In what way is that helping them? So now, like, we don't have to go into a classroom that is named after eugenics leaders that were, like, specifically organizing our oppression. And we also don't have to feel threatened by, like, the police force at our own campus when we're students there because this rally that we did brought the police chief out and he made promises to changing the structural, the structure of his um, police force. So like now we can be comfortable at, at USC with our own, in our own community. So, so like, you guys are scared of the police who you see them? Those are the changes. So when you see the police on campus, does it make you afraid? I mean, depending on like your experiences. Does it make you afraid? I'm not afraid, no. Oh, and do you know that the crime rates are going up in, the, in uh, the black community now that you guys stopped the police. Do you care about that? Because the normal black people, they want cops in their community. They want more cops. What is a normal black person? Uh, one that is not mad at the white man and blaming him for everything. But That's normal? You, yeah. What let makes me, that normal? Let me ask you this. What makes that normal? Uh, I'll tell you in a minute, but let me ask because uh, of time. Uh, okay. Do you care that because of that, crime rate going up in the black community. They're being, their children are being murdered by other black people. They're being killed because now when they call the cop, they're not coming. Does that bother you? When they, are you saying that like with defunding the police? Okay, so. Does when, that bother you that now it put in other black people's lives at risk? No, I don't think you understand what defunding and abolishing the police really means. It, it means you don't want a police department. No, no, no. And that's not what it means. When the black people, that's what's happening. No, you don't so understand Matthew, what it means. Does okay, that where bother is that you now that where is the that cop happening? all over here, New York, all over? There's no police here? They, they down, they, it won't be soon. If they can't <laughs> pay, their, pay their salary, they won't be around. You but let me the, train them. The but let me ask have, you, though. Does it bother you? The police have $2 billion in salary, which is like astronomically more than anything else. If they just cut that in, to 50%, they'd still have like a billion more than everything else. And we'd have more money for schools, for housing, like for healthcare, you know? If, so you, like, got, if you got married and the father and mother worked and did their own way, would they need the police money to do that for them? Listen, what I'm saying is you think, right now what you're telling me is you think that defund the police means get rid of the police yes. and there's no police. Yeah, so that's what I'm it's going to get to. I'm telling you that's, not, that's well. not what police abolition that's what it, means. You just don't realize it, but no, that's what it's all about. You just don't. Do you want me to tell you? Yeah. I can, like, educate you if you okay. like. Okay. All right, so um, basically, like, police abolition doesn't mean getting rid of 911 altogether. It means providing an opportunity for things that don't need aggressive police force, like a person you call 911 and they have a gun, for certain you call 911 for everything, right? For a homeless man sleeping on the street, you call 911. For somebody choking on an apple, you call 911. You call 911 for everything, right? So what it means is instead of having the police control everything and show up for every situation, you have more like community-based organizations. So like instead of 911 for, I don't know, like seeing a kid by themselves, you call like child protective services or you call this or you call <laughs> you that. You call a social worker. Yeah, or something and like that. Does that make sense to you? You call, you don't have to call 911 for all. Does that make sense all. to you though? Yeah. It's instead amazing. of, instead of so let me having add, the I want to go back to the question. Do right? you believe in letting all the prisoners out as well? People in prison, the blacks in the prisons and the jails, you believe letting, letting them out as well? Depends on what they're in there for. But are you in support of that though? I'm, I'm not, I'm in support of abolishing private prisons, which is like basically slavery. 
It's like private yeah. prisons are rented out. They they get they get prisoners, and then like they they rent out the prisoners to go work for free or for like a dollar an hour to like put out fires and things like that. And then when they get out of prison, they're not even allowed to become firemen. I think so that should be abolished. So are you in favor of letting prisons out? People, the blacks in prison out. Depending on what they're in there for. So like if like there's a person in prison for life for having a gram of weed, yeah, they shouldn't be out. They should they shouldn't be in someone prison. How about someone rape someone? They should be in prison. Yes. How about a murderer? Yeah. But so you just only want the potheads out? No, anyone that's in prison unjustly shouldn't be in there. And then what I'm saying is I don't think the abolition of it's not that it's the abolition of private prisons. So like I don't think it should be acceptable for private prisons to rent out human labor for free. Why not? If you do the crime, you do the time. Do I the remember time when I was growing up, they had the prisoners on the road, chain gang. They were working the roads. And you think... We on the highway, and we were like, yes! You think it's fair for them to work for free? Yeah, because they're doing the time. You have to pay the... Uh, if you do the crime, you have to pay the time. But there's people... And tough... Tough work in prison makes you not want to go back. But there's people in that prison. True? There's people in prison for reasons that they don't deserve to be in prison for, and they're doing slave labor. They wouldn't be in prison. Then. Do you smoke pot? No. You don't smoke but pot. But it's okay, like if people do. You don't do. smoke pot. No. Why not? Because I, I mean, it doesn't appeal to me. And why not? Why does? Do I have to have a reason? Yeah. Why? Why is not that it doesn't appear uh, up? appeal to you? I don't know. I mean, it just never has. You never smoked it? No, I mean, Amazing. there's no reason for it. So let but me like, ask I'm one. saying I don't, I don't blame, I don't say that it's wrong for people to do it. I mean, Is and now it's... Is anything wrong? What do you see as wrong? Things morally wrong. Like what? Like some of your opinions. Like what? My opinion? Yeah, some of them. <laughs> like what? <laughs> some of them are morally wrong. Like, like the fact what? that you think slave labor is okay as yeah, long as it's Yeah, absolutely. Prison. You think tough slave labor? Is when okay? I become president, I'm in the action tough. They going back on the highway. They gonna be on roads. Really? They ain't getting paid. They will get a meal. That's some water. So you want to restart? You want to bring chain slavery? Gang. Yeah. Slavery? Yeah. We're you, chain gang. You believe in slavery? Well, slavery was a necessary need at the time. What? You would have been a slave. I, you would have been cool with that? If that was the time. Did you know that it was the blacks in Africa who sold the higher class blacks, sold the poor blacks to the Arabs, and the Arabs was the one that took the blacks around the world and sold them? And you are think, you aware of that? Yeah, but you think that was makes that, it okay for slavery to exist? Do you Are those blacks in Africa racist for doing that to the other blacks? They're morally wrong. Are they racist? Racism is a, con, is a concept created by like Eurocentric beliefs. What? I don't think. What I does think, that mean? Did you go to college? What does that mean? Eurocentric. Uh huh. It's kind of the the concept of centering everything, uh, your understanding of humanity and reality around European beliefs. Are you saying that so those blacks who did the same thing and are doing the same thing in Africa are not racist, even though they're doing the same thing as slavery here? You're saying they're not racist for doing it, right? And no. they run Africa, but they're not racist. Okay, I, th I don't think you understand what the uh, term racism is. Are you saying they're not racist? Even yes or no, they're morally no. incorrect people. They're like people but, that... So are the white people morally incorrect people here too? That yes. That? But not racist. Racism is a concept constructed by white people. So it oh. doesn't make sense. Like, racism isn't a... It's a concept that didn't exist until it was created by, like, Eurocentric beliefs. Who told you that? Yo, like, I did, I'm just not sure. Did you go to, like... Have formal education. So you learn this in college. I mean, you learn this from like yeah, college and even like did world you history. Know that did you know before you took college? Did you Went take world history like in high school? So you learned it in your world history class. I mean, you just if you read like books or Google is cool. And so when you were reading books in your high school in world history, they told you about history and then they said this is racism. They said that to you. Well, the they teacher? teach you. They teach you like a a light version of it, and then if you're inclined, you do more research on your own and you learn. That oh, doesn't man. seem like you. Did, did you your do parents that? know that they were teaching you that? 
Yeah, I mean, my parents did their best to educate me. I think they did well. Okay. Um, did so let me ask you, you never did answer this question. We're running out of time. Mm -hmm. um, now that Black Lives Matter want to defund the police department, more blacks are being robbed, raped, killed, and murdered as a result of that. Does that bother you? That's not, like, where are you getting these The crime statistics? got up in, the, in the New York, Chicago, Los Angeles as a result. A few police, prisoners let out of jail, more blacks are being affected by it. Does where, that bother you? Where are there fewer police? No, answer that question first. Because of time. No, but Does, I can't are the you bothered by that? I can't answer the question because there's not fewer police. There's police forces they are, everywhere. They're not hiring as many as they used to now. The mayor of Los Angeles cut back on the salary. Weeks? I mean, on the uh, money. Uh, you, you won't answer that question, though. Are you bothered that crime rates are going up and blacks are affected first and foremost. Does that bother you? That's not true. I'm asking you, does it bother you? Let's say it is. It is true, it's but not. because I'm running out of time, I don't have time to play. But does that bother you? It's not true. If it was true, does it? Would it bother if you? If it was true, yeah, but it's not. Okay. Will you find out it's true? Will you change it once you find out it was true? You don't understand what the. I don't know why we're having this conversation because you're not open to like letting me educate you because you don't understand what the abolition of police means. You think it means getting rid of any type of law enforcement, which it doesn't. Okay. And, like you just not. In, you're not. Like, ask, in one of your lines of your rap music, you say, "Look at Karen, man, she want us dead, and used to cops, so she don't have it, so she don't have to do it." Mm -hmm. What does Karen mean? So basically, a form of white supremacy is using your privilege, especially specifically as a white woman. You can use your privilege to basically hire like an informal hit person to like come, as long as you sound distressed, come and murder a black person because you know the odds are they're going to take your side over the black person. So like, for example, you've seen like the videos of like, like a black person minding their business or something, and then like a woman comes up and says, "Hey, you're not supposed to be here." And he says, "No, actually, I live here." And they say, "No, you don't. Like, you're, I feel threatened." And then they call the police and say, "This person has a gun," even though he doesn't have a gun and he does live there. But when the police come, who are they going to believe? The person that was like crying on the phone, or the black person that you said that most black people are like violent and aggressive. So, so when the person calls, knowing like everyone has this racist idea that black people are violent and aggressive. When the police come, they're gonna be like, do you have a gun? He's gonna say no. He's gonna try to like show that he doesn't have a gun and then he's gonna get shot. And then the woman that wanted the person dead, even though she knows that he wasn't doing anything wrong, How she gets what you? she want. I'm 20, I said that already. I'm what did you tell me? I forgot. In the beginning, 22. 22. Mm -hmm. Is uh, the word uh, Karen, is that a slur against white women? No, it's a name. It's the same as the N-word, does mm -hmm. it have the same meaning though that an N-word would have if someone call you that? No. So Karen is not a slang? Karen is a common name that white women are given. Oh, but it's not a slur? No. So a lot of white women are named, named Karen? Yeah. Amazing. So, I, mean, um, I had a professor named Karen. What? Yeah, several Karens, yeah. Do you believe, in your song you said white women want black men dead. Is that true? The ones that call and say that a black man is holding a gun and they feel threatened even though the person doesn't have a gun and they know the police will come, assume the person has a gun and potentially kill that person, yes. You also say F the police in that mm -hmm. song. You believe that? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And what made you say F the police? I mean, we just had a whole conversation about oh, so it. So you just say they're against the blacks? Sure. Do you want uh I think did you know did you know where the police started? Like what what police originated from? What? Slave patrol. Did you know that? No. You didn't know that? Who told you that? They told you that in school? No, no, no. It's in it's it's common history. Oh, okay. American history, yeah. Do you I think want, you should like look into that. Do you want uh do you want um uh, Have you learned about that? Do you want uh responding to nine one one to stop? Depends. I already, I already answered that. Do you want them to stop though? Calling 911? Yeah. I think 911 should be 
for specific situations and they should be allocated to different, for depending on the situation, if you, it should be allocated to different resources. Uh, I already answered man. that. But so what I was ask, saying is that- Do you appreciate the risk that police officers take? Sure. Uh, do, do Blue Lives Matter? Blue Lives Matter is an oppressive um, opposition of Black Lives Matter. It's like All Lives Matter. You think All Lives Matter, right? Yes. But you don't think Black Lives Matter? That doesn't include All Lives? It does. So, so why, so if I say Black Lives Matter, you agree with me? I, personally, I think that it's just you a saying it has no meaning. So if, because Black Lives if, don't really matter. And you can see it in the way black people treat one another and others. Is this how it always goes? <laughs> so let me ask. Um, no, but so, so you do think black lives matter, if you think all lives matter. All right? lives matter, yeah. So you agree black lives matter? All lives. All lives. So, uh, yeah. so you agree. So uh, black lives are a life, right? A uh, what? Black lives. That, that's a life. So I if, think that black lives only matters when it matters to the parents and to the children of the parents. If it don't matter to them, then it doesn't matter. So if my parents didn't care about me, then you don't you care would, about me? You would not have mattered. I mean, but I, I would care me. about you enough to tell you the truth to get you back on court. To tell me that I don't matter? That I would wouldn't tell you that. Uh, I wouldn't tell you that it's a white man's fault. Do you love white people? White people? Yeah, I love all people as long how, as they love. They how about white people? Loving, uh, yeah. You love white people? I love white people that are good people. Any, I, don't, there's, I don't like specifically hate any type of person as long as they're good people and care about others. Like, so like, for example, I just want to get back to like, that you're not able to say that black lives matter. Like, I just want you to say it. Because you think, you think all lives matter. You said that. It only matters to the parents and the children. Or to anybody else, it doesn't matter. So you don't think all lives matter? I do think, but not you do I mean, think it's all up to the matter. person. I don't, I'm not concerned. It's not going to affect me if someone else decides that they don't want to take care of themselves. No, no, but I'm saying you think all lives matter. Yes. And you, a black life is included in all those lives. So you think black lives matter. I don't need to say black lives matter. When I say all, I mean all. So you're including black people. But I know that black lives doesn't matter to black people. So you're including black people when you say all lives matter? Yes. So... That means when I say black Listen lives that, matter, you agree because you think uh, all, all lives, lives matter. matter. But let so me that's including this. black people. Do you think white lives matter? I don't think you matter? understand what you're saying. Do you think white lives matter? Sure. You sure? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, white lives matter.